In Tulsa, more than 20 people were murdered so far this year. That is slightly more than at this same time last year. New tonight, 2 News reporter Brendan Richards spoke with police about the city's homicide rate. He joins us now with more. Well, Tulsa police say every city has crime, and Tulsa is no different. But police say residents shouldn't live in fear. On Sunday, police responded to a report of a gunfight at an East Tulsa apartment complex. When they arrived, they found bystanders performing CPR on the victim. The 19-year-old Deontay Folsom would die a short time later at a local hospital, becoming the city's latest homicide victim. According to police, there have been 26 homicides so far this year in Tulsa. Around this time last year, there were 22, 21 the year before. I mean, to us, one homicide is one too many. You know, tra tragic for anyone to, to lose their life. But in reality, we know uh, during the course of a year, a city our size, we're going to have homicides. And Tulsa police say most of the time, the homicides that do occur involve people who know each other. A lot of homicides stems from domestic disputes, uh, ongoing feuds between uh, maybe one or two people. Police say their focus is on trying to solve these cases. Those detectives, you know, they don't rest on the fact that they may be solved. Uh, you know, this one homicide, because a lot of times they're working on two or three homicides. And because homicides are unpredictable, police say it's impossible to know if the city's annual homicide rate will be lower or higher than last year's. But they say, bottom line, Tulsans shouldn't live in fear. But you should never fear uh, of being able to go to a park or, you know, use Riverside Park or come downtown to an event or, or go to your local grocery store. You should not have that fear uh, here in Tulsa. Now, 80% of the homicides that occur in Tulsa are eventually solved. Still, police encourage anyone who might have information about an unsolved homicide to come forward. Brandon Richard, 2 News, works for you.